purpose driven. It's not personal. It's purpose. When you see me, it is deeper than what meets the eye. There is a soul, a spirit, a divine. Thank you so much for joining me for my podcast, for, for listening to me, for sharing with me, those of you who share. I just want to say thank you. It's a new day, a new morning. The sun is out. The day is beautiful. And I'm just extremely, extremely thankful because God is so good to me. Um, I, I think he's so good to the world, to the earth, like he keeps replenishing us and he keeps, um, he, he makes us flourish and grow and thrive. And I just want to say to you this morning, I just want to leave a brief message with you. Um, by the way, this is Finding Happy. I'm Coach Raquel. And this, of course, is Let's Well Walk, Cook and Talk. <laughs> because this morning I got up and I did, a, did one of my vlogs, one of my cooking vlogs. I cooked Kalaloo. Um, with mixed vegetables, um, I put a little um, uh, onion, carrots, green beans, um, other things <laughs> mixed up in it, and um, I'm actually just trying to uh, not just eat well, but I want to eat healthy, but I want to eat food that I enjoy, and that's why I cook it myself the way I want it, because I realize, and this is what I, this is my message this morning, my, my message is, do it your way. You can do it your way and still win. You can do it your way and still win even when you're not clear, when you're not sure, when you don't have all the right formulas and when your, formula, your formulas that you're using are in development stage and they're um, being, being built and established and innovated by you. It's okay. It's okay to, to live life on your own terms and it's okay to do it your way. My message this morning is do it your way. Do it your way. I, I think, well, for me anyway, the way I grew up, and I understand because my, those, um, my parents and those who raised me, they were just teaching me how to survive and to get by and to get through and to accelerate and to um, become the best version of myself. But even though they were showing me their way, there comes a time or there came a time when it was my turn to learn it my way, right? Take, by taking all the tools, all the information, everything they shared with me, and then personalizing that, building on that, learning from that to establish something different. And I learned that, I, I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned over my, um, throughout my years is I can do it my way and it's okay. For a long time, I doubted my way. I, I, I didn't feel confident in doing things my way. I felt like, what do I have to offer? I don't know anything. How do I, how do, I do it my way and, 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 then, and, and get it to work successfully, you know? But everyone is trying to do it their way. No one has the answers. No one has the answer. None of us has the answer. We, we are all just busy doing it to the best of our capacity right to the best of our capacity so this morning I just want to say to you try it your way and if your way if, if you can't see your way build it develop it discover it take your time to create your own path your own way, your own way of doing things since I've started my blog my vlog, uh, my cooking vlog, I've just been cooking my way. From time to time, I may look at other, I, I do watch other videos to see what they're cooking. And if I see something that I really like, I'm like, yes, I'm going to try that. And sometimes, I remember once, I was trying to do it exactly as the other person did it. And it's like, it wasn't working for me. And then I'm like, whatever. Let me remove this video. Let me just do it on my own. And I decided, okay, I saw what the person made. I saw um, how they, um, they did it and everything. 
so I have a general idea of what it is I'm seeking to produce. And so I just put everything away and I just started doing it my way. I use my own ingredients, ingredients that I like. They use a certain kind of cheese. I use something completely different. And, and so when I was done, I don't know what their taste did like, but I enjoyed mine. As a matter of fact, when I did it the first time, it was, it was broccoli and, and potato um, patties that I made. When I did, the, did it the first time with all my um, ingredients, it, wasn't, it was good and it was nice, right? But it wasn't to my taste, my particular taste. It wasn't to the, 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 the taste where that blows my mind, even though it was really, really, really good. It was delightful. It was tasty. It was filling. It was amazing. I mean, it was wonderful. But then the next time I tried it my way um, by taking it through my process, I, I, I did it completely different. I just knew that I was making um, I had the primary ingredients, potato, that's Irish potato, and broccoli. I had those two, and I had my cheese and stuff, and I put egg in it, and I just put different spice in it and things like that, and I, I fried it differently. I did it my way, and when I did it my way, it was just through the roof. It was absolutely amazing. The first one I'd have given a 9 out of 10, and the, my one would be 10 out of 10. It was absolutely amazing. So I'm saying this to say you can do things your way. It's okay. You don't have to always try to please everybody else. And I do, let me, let me, let me say I understand the, the, the feeling like you want to please everybody, especially if you're someone who wants to just get along, especially if you're somebody who just don't want to have to worry about the, the challenges of, of, um, of that sometimes come with relationships. That some, if, if you're someone who doesn't sometimes want to deal with the push and pull, sometimes you just go along to get along. But how, 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 how does that fulfill you? Does it fulfill you? It never does. It never does because then you live... Substand I believe that when you just go along to get along, you're, you're living a substandard life. You're not living the life that was meant for you. In order to live the life that was guaranteed or was meant for us, we have to go through discomfort. We have to go through disappointing self and others. We have to go through changing and changes and we have to grow and advance and develop and expand ourselves. The only way to grow is by putting things out of place, moving things out of place. If, if things stays in place and you're calm and you're good and you're getting along, even that becomes problematic sometimes, <laughs> you know? So do it your way. And if your way is, I wanna get along with every single one, you do that. If, if staying in one place fulfills you, yes? If it gets you the outcomes you're seeking, if it makes you happy and be honest with yourself now, be honest with yourself now, because I've been at a place where I was dishonest with myself because I, I wasn't willing to do what it takes or what was required of me for me to advance and to get to a better place. Yes? So don't lie to yourself. If you're truly happy with just going along to get along, then that's what you should do. That's what you should do. Whatever makes you truly, truly, truly happy and at peace. But if it doesn't, be willing. Give yourself a shot. Do it your way. Give it a shot. You don't have to do it. Even me doing the let's walk and talk, I'm, I'm not doing the walk the way everyone else does. I'm not trying to kill myself. I just want to do what I love. And I, only, I love walking. And I only walk when, if, if I start walking and I don't feel like it, I stop. I don't pressure myself. Yeah, I'm doing it my way. I do it as long as I enjoy it and it fulfills me and I see where I benefit from it. If I'm doing something that I feel after a while is making me feel sick or unwell in any way, is, is giving me dis-ease, I stop. Yeah, because we have to, also, in doing it our way, we have to learn what are the good changes right what are the things that i need to push through and what are the things i need to let go yes and so here are three lessons that i learned from learning to do it my way yeah i learned that one nobody nobody 
is perfect and nobody has the answer to everything. No one has an answer. No one has all the answers. That's what I'm saying. Number one, no one has all the answers. So there is no person out there that gets it all right. We all get some, have some wrong turns and we all have some bad turns and we also all, all had some failed outcomes, but we keep going, right? So no one has all the answers. I had to learn that because I was very tough on myself. Not, not tough on myself, but I, I was very, I lack faith in myself at some points where I'm thinking, nah, you don't have what it takes to do it your way. You need to follow somebody else's path. Like you don't have the resources. You don't have the manpower. You don't have what is going to be needed to do it your way. But that's not true. Nobody has the, all the answers. We all have to seek answers. And so I got to a place where instead of providing answers for my situation, instead of saying, I can't do something, I question, can I do this? If I was to try it, if I were to try it, how do I do this? So instead I ask questions. And sometimes I, I, I've learned to just, I don't even question the questions that come to my mind or try to provide an answer for them. Sometimes I just put it out there. And it's amazing how much sometimes persons will just respond to things for you, not because you didn't have the answer, but because sometimes just throw it out there and see what happens. No one has all the answers, so it's okay if you don't either. That's number one. And number two, try it. Don't knock it until you've tried it. Until you have tried it your way, don't knock it. Don't say it's not good enough. Don't say you can't do it. Don't say something else is better. Try it. Give it a try. And don't just, don't just lame try it. Like really try it. Put everything in it and try it. Yeah, what do you have to lose? You'd have learned something anyway and you can stop whenever you want to. So one, nobody has all the answers. So it's okay if you don't as well. Number two, try it. Try it before you knock it, right? And the final one that I've learned in, in learning to do it my way is I can. I have proven to myself that I absolutely can. And so can you. You can. When you try it, when you realize that everyone is out there trying, nobody has it all together. Yes. And then when you give it your best shot and try it. When you're done, you may, be, you may shock yourself to realize that you actually could. You did it. So you learn that you can do anything, right? You're not alone on this earth. The, the creator is with you. Your maker is with you. And you are so much wiser than you think. You're so much smarter than you think. You're so much better than you think. You're, you're, so, you're more capable than you think. So cheer yourself on believe in you trust your own instincts yes it hasn't failed me i thought i had nothing to offer this girl who grew up in a million zillion homes i remember every time i got my report card from school it was she is not settled she needs to settle down because i was moving from as they call it pillow to post I, was li I lived here for a little while, and I, I call it an informal foster care system that I grew up in, you know? I pretty much lived with most of the people who my dad worked for. And I, so, I, so I thought to myself, I'm a ship without a sail. What, what do I have to offer? I have nothing to offer. I have no stability. And that my stability has been a huge part of my trauma growing up, like fear that I'm not going to have somewhere to live. I'm not going to... I, you know, I always had that like, oh my gosh, I'm moving, moving, moving. Will I ever settle? And then I even tried to buy my own home. I did. I bought my own home thinking, yes, I'm now settled. And then I lost that. And, and <laughs> you know, but the loss wasn't that important to me because of how God has kept me. I'm like, he take, God takes, my creator takes care of me. That's why I advise everyone. Learn God for yourself and your own understanding of him. He takes care of me, right? So I'm saying all of this to say that was, those were some of the things that held me back thinking I may not, I'm, I can't do it my way, right? But funny thing is I've always been doing it my way. I'm, I was just born that way. I was born an entrepreneur. I, I, 
I don't like reading manuals. I like to figure things out. <laughs> you know, I, I like to learn new things. I like to discover things. You know what I mean? But um, anyway, today, all I want to share with you is do it your way. If you're doing it and it feels painful, too painful for you to handle, if you're feeling miserable, if it's too monotonous, if, it, if for whatever reason, if it's too boring, if it's not, if it's not, if it doesn't excite you, create, create a way to do it that excites you. It doesn't matter what you're doing. That thing that you're thinking, oh no, I could never do that. Yes, you can, but do it your way. You don't have to do it everybody's way. I don't, I don't like to go to the gym the way I, I've had persons pressure me, like go to the gym, go to the gym. No, I don't want to. I want to do it my way. So maybe I just want to walk. I don't want to go to the gym. Maybe I just, we can all get to the same outcome without doing it one way. We can all do it our way and still get to happy. You don't have to do it my way to get to happiness. Even in, in, in having a relationship with God, there are some people who want to go to church. Go to church. If that's what makes you happy, go to church. But don't hate on the other person who decides, I want to find God in other areas. I want to go hiking to find God. Don't knock people when they do it their way. Allow them to do it their way, just as you are doing it your way. Yes, and I think we're in a world that we keep pushing and forcing on people. If you're not doing it my way, then you're doing it wrong. Says who? Who has the ultimate answers? Please, someone stand up and tell me confidently, this is it and there's no, it will never change, this is it. No, you can't. Because that's not the case. Almost everything changes, even though it seems like everything stays the same. It's, it, that's how dynamic my creator is. Things, things seem to change while they stay the same. Yeah, so what that tells me is we can all, we must all do it our way. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we exist. If our way wasn't important, if our way wasn't critical, why would we be here? We would not be here. Yeah, that's my belief anyway. I'm here because my way matters. My way is important. So I have to spend time to discover and learn and cultivate and create my way of doing it. Wanna cook something? Okay. You wanna cook rice and peas and chicken? I don't have to do it your way. I'll do it my way. Yes? And we can and it creates variety. So today I just want to encourage you. I wanna encourage I wanna encourage you, those persons who are feeling like if you're feeling like uh, I'm not good enough, I'm not skilled enough, I'm not talented enough, I don't know enough, and you are enough. And I want you to know that this morning. You are enough. And for the person out there who feels their way is the perfect way, that's okay. That's okay. Good for you. Very good. I'm very happy that you're confident in that. But what I'm going to ask you to do is the same way you want us to acknowledge and validate you having done it your way, I ask for that kindness to be extended to other people. Allow people do it, to do it their way without bullying them and shaming them. Yes, and throwing them out and locking them out. I never understood going to church and hearing you put someone at the back bench or whatever. They're serving God their way. Their way. They're doing life their way. We're supposed to do it our way. Not without wisdom, not without understanding, not without learning. But sometimes for some of us, well, for all of us, we have to tumble over sometimes to learn something. Allow us to stumble. Allow people to stumble. Allow, allow people to break so that they can reach their breakthrough. Let's support people who are breaking so that when the breakthrough comes, we can say, yes, I, I was... I was a, a positive force in helping you achieve your goal. Yes. You know, we've got to learn to value other people's authenticity and their capacity and their ability and their time. 
Yeah, we have to give people their time when it's their time. When it's your time, have your time to do it your way. Just because each of us, when we were getting there, we all had failures. Before you reach the top, you we all you had failures too. You had things, your own stumbling. So don't become a stumbling after you've stumbled and now you've achieved. Don't become a stumbling block in someone else's stumble. Allow them to stumble so they can then rise up and win just like you did. So we know that your way is amazing. It's wonderful. You did it. Great. Allow me now to discover my way of doing the same thing that you did, but my way. So I challenge you today. Don't just go along to get along. Don't just go along to get along. Do it your way. Don't just live somebody else's life. Don't just walk in someone else's shoe. Walk in your own shoes. Live your own life. Do it your way. I'm Coach Raquel, and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's Let's Walk and Talk, but I stopped walking and I sat down because I got tired. <laughs> yes, but I'm doing it my way. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. And please, please, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe um, to my channel. Thank you so much and God bless you. Goodbye.